What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Satellite, coming through with another quick video for today. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 Nike SB releases for the year of 2022. So make sure you guys are right coming if you're new. Hit that subscribe button if you get boy, and make sure you dab on them. Let's jump right into the top 10 SBs of the year. The number 10 spot's going to go to that Nike SB Dunk High Pro ISO Kentucky. I think this shoe's very clean. It's got that blue, the white colorway, and it's going to be an orange label release. So it has that orange swish right on the tongue. Super clean shoe. You can almost wear it anywhere. The number nine spot's going to go to the Nike SB Dunk High Fost. I thought the Foss collaboration was really nice with all the embroidery and all the gold hits on the shoe. I thought the materials were very well put together as well. I don't know if that's like a premium leather or what, but my friend actually got the shoes and they look pretty damn solid in their size. So I personally couldn't get them and I would have got them. I might still double hit the block and go get a pair of them because they only like a hundred or something, but I just haven't got them yet. A lot of people don't really like Nike SB Dunk Highs and I don't really care what their problem is, but these hit the number nine on the list. Number eight on the list is gonna be the Nike SB Dunk Low, Why So Sad? This might upset some people, but I don't know. I thought the colorway was pretty nice and it just wasn't nothing crazy though. But I do love what the shoe stood for. It was it's something about an organization to prevent suicide or something. I like that part of it, but the shoe, it was like the colors are cool. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the outsole was pretty cool. Crispy midsole. Uh, I do like the details on it as far as the bird and the tongue and how the swoosh, it's got like this yellow hit on it, like under the blue or something like that. But it just wasn't nothing crazy. It wasn't nothing that I was craving. So at least it got on the list at number eight. The number seven spot's gonna go to the Nike SB Dunk Low, Huff. I was leaning more towards the New York City because what else is gonna be on this list? It just doesn't go well with the Giants. So you already know what that might be. I just thought the New York City uh, Huff collaboration was a very nice colorway. It has the navy bluish, like that darker blue with the white. And it looks very clean. The Giants look pretty clean too, but they just couldn't make the list over the New York Cities. You also got that skinny tongue that some people love, some people hate. I would let it slide with these. I'm not too tripping about it, but you know, it's just down there at the number seven. The number six spot on the list are gonna be the Nike SB Dunk Low NAR Hunters. I thought the shoe was very cool, and then when I found out that Elisa Steamer has something to do with it, I thought it was even cooler because Elisa Steamer is a super OG, triple OG skater like that. Like, you know, she's been doing her thing, she's still around, so that's super cool. I would support the fuck out of that shoe, I would buy that shoe. But the thing is, it's kind of pricey when I went to go look at it. I don't even think my locals got them, so I never really had a chance from what I know of, but that shoe was very cool. Um, one thing I would change is probably the the laces get those bungee cord laces out of here and put some other fat laces in them but if it looks kind of ugly then i'll probably just work with the bungee cord laces but the shoe looks very cool they has like that chanel patch all on the toe box and on the side panels has that like a chanel patch material like the the patch that you get from a, a university college jacket or something like that so i thought the materials in that was pretty fire um other than that yeah it's gonna take the number six spot the number five spot's gonna go straight up to the Nike SB Dunk Low Bart Simpson. This shoe is just really fucking fantastic. We already got the homers. We already got the marges that released back in the day. Super fire colorways. The marge is gonna be the high top. The homer is gonna be the low top, obviously. We got another low top representing Bart Simpson. And who's gonna be next? Lisa or Maggie or one of the neighbors or some shit. It's just super fire. I'm loving that they're getting the whole family out there in the SB form. The Simpsons has been like the longest cartoon running in history, I believe. So it's just like super historic, super historic piece right here. At first I was just like, fuck this shoe, this shit's too crazy. I remember doing homework and my locals actually got it. I didn't go for the raffle and my homie hit for two pair. He hit like at locals and somewhere else. But either way, I was just like, yeah, now I'm looking back at it. I'm like, fuck that shoe. I wish I would have got it because I wasn't in my right mind thinking like I probably wouldn't award but just to have that piece of history is really fucking dope so um yeah I thought that was pretty cool and it had to get this list too it had to get on this list at the number five spot you throw those green lime slime looking laces up in there them shits looking funky looking pretty sick I ain't even gonna lie bro I gotta spin a block and get a pair of them they send that like 250 but you already know in a couple months they might hit 1250 when people realize like oh shit this is history right here oh man oh so that took the number five spot. The number four spot, you already know, that fire blue and white Dodgers. Los Angeles Dodgers, they're gonna take the number four spot in that Nike SB Dunk Low Los Angeles Dodgers collab. Super fire, we a team out here winning championships. So it was just like, 
that that just had to happen. I'm happy that they didn't give the Astros no damn collab. You know, like Nike is like, yeah, now nah, fuck that. Wait till the Dodgers win one, then we'll give them the collab. Gave us the collab. It was probably coming sooner or later, but I think that that made it more relevant after we won that championship. Um, it was pretty relevant that we needed that. Uh, so that was pretty damn fire, and I'm really happy to have those. I'm really happy to have the Laker collab, like the low tops that they did, and. It's just really fucking fire that Nike is doing what they're doing and they know what they're doing and it's just like, yo, when they do their shit, it's fire to come through. So, LA Dodgers, they got that number four spot with that royal blue looking white colorway. Very fire gum bottom. Some people don't like the gum bottom. It's got like a little pink hit at the bottom as well. Some people might not like it. Some people like it. Yeah, I think some shoes personally deserve that gum bottom over other bottoms, but it's, it is what it is. Like, it's hated, it's loved, it's gonna be what it be. The number three spot, baby, baby. We at the top three right now, this shit got crazy. I really vouch for this shoe to be at the number two spot because I just don't care. I thought art was art and I just thought this one was cool. I really kind of hyped the shoe up before it even came out. I thought it was gonna be pretty pricey too, but the price is pretty tanked on it and I'm happy with that because now I can go get two, three pair. Haven't got one pair yet, I haven't got a lot of these pairs, but the three spot on this list is gonna be the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike Neck Face Baby Baby. Like I said, I wanted that to be number two. It's just got patchwork all over it. I thought it was a super detailed shoe. Got that black midsole with the white hits on it. It's just very fire. You got work put in all over the shoe. And Neck Face is a real artist out here busting his ass, really making art, whatever people say. It's kid art, it's trash art, whatever. It's art, motherfucker, you do it then. I'm loving that these prices are dipping because I can go and get a pair now and it's like, yo, I ain't gotta bust my ass or nothing, but you know, just give it a little time and them prices go right back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave that at the number three spot. It's getting spicy in here because you already know. I think when I say what the number two spot is, y'all gonna know what the number one spot is. So it's like, damn, what is the number two spot? Sad lad, let us know. The number two spot in my opinion is gonna be that Nike SB Dunk Low. Concepts Orange Lobster collab. Yes, the Concepts Orange Lobster collab took the number two spot. I thought the shoe was fire. I couldn't get my hands on it. I don't have a lot of shoes, like I said, in this top 10 list, but it's all good. That number two spot, super fire concepts. You see, I got the green. You see, I got the purple 100% legit, man. I ain't copping it. I ain't feeling it. If it ain't real, man, up in this bit. So real legit, man. I got to get the orange ones. They got to be legit. I got the red ones and the blue ones in my mind every day, so it's all good. The yellow ones, I don't even think about them. You know, whoever got them bitches, man, congratulations. I love y'all too, but shit, you already know, man. I'm a fan. I got to get those number twos. I got to get them orange ones and the number one spot. It just, it only makes sense to make the damn eBay SB dunk the number one spot. I'm sorry if you don't agree, then I don't know what the fuck you on, but... Nike SB probably really wouldn't be where it is or what it is because of Sandy Bodecker. So this Nike SB Dunk Low, Sandy Bodecker, man, I'm just like, I don't even have this shoe and I'm grateful that it exists, that I can go purchase this piece of history right now. Like, and it's not even like out of my reach. Like it's like, you know, a piece of my paycheck. I can go and actually afford this shoe. This shoe's been dipping in price and I'm so happy that they made enough or people don't like it or whatever the case is. But Sandy Bodecker took the number one spot. Number one, Sandy Bodecker, it's fire. It is what it is, man. If y'all got some type of commentary, got something else to say about that, man, let me know. Some of y'all might be like, man, fuck that, man. Goddamn eBay dunk trash, man. Goddamn orange lobster need to be at the top, man. But it is what it is. This is what I think. This is how I'm feeling. Maybe y'all think about it some years down the line and realize that, yeah. Sandy Bodecker kind of constructed a lot of this shit. A lot of the shit kind of wouldn't really be what it is probably if it wasn't for this man. So let's pay them dues, man. Long live the great, man. God damn, man. If y'all made it to the end of the video, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure to comment if you're new. Hit that subscribe button for your boy, and I'll see you in the next one. Sheesh.